Donald Westlake, under the pen name Richard Stark, wrote what, in my opinion, is one of the best and most satisfying novels ever written. It's called The Hunter. Here is the French graphic novel called Le Chasseur, which I'm reading. I'm also in the process of reading the French version of the novel, which is called Comme une fleur. I'm not quite sure how they came up with that title for the French version of the novel. Here the English version is, and I'm going to go through that in a later video. But because of my interest in Donald Westlake, under the pen name Stark, I've decided to explore his earliest writing. Donald Westlake was a prolific author, and he's someone who knew exactly what he wanted to do, and that's right. What we have here is a magazine, almost 60 years old, actually over 60 years old, Universe, which has his first uh, full short story outside of ones he did in high school. You can see here he gets uh, lower billing. Now, this is a science fiction story, and Westlake later decided that he detested science fiction because he's interested in people, and science fiction necessarily deals with science and fantasy, and people come second. I'm sure I could have found this short story in some anthology, or at least I suppose I could have, but I wanted to track down the actual publication of Westlake's early short stories to get a sense of what he was reading and seeing and feeling. Just imagine Westlake's dream is to be an author, and he goes out to the newsstand, and here he is, his first published short story. You can find copies of this on eBay, where I bought it. I think it was about $10. What's interesting to me is to figure out whether any of the genius of Westlake that exists in The Hunter percolates up through his early work. This short story is interesting because it's very much part of its time of the Cold War era. And all the stories in here seem to have that paranoia theme about the Russians. And even the first ad here is about some woman who supposedly can tell the future, and she did so about Russia. There's a lot of fear, and it's interesting. But I think Westlake's story succeeds beyond the other authors who take the same tack of Cold War paranoia, but what you see in Westlake, and I found very interesting, is a sense of humor, which is what he is known for. Also, he goes through a little philosophical discourse about the meaning of liberty and then ends the story with a quick summary and conclusion. The main point of his story, I think, was to have some fun with humor, and the Cold War aspect really took second place, unlike the other authors who focused on the Cold War aspect of their story, and humor was secondary. So, interesting to read the first published work of Donald Westlake, a story called Or Give Me Death, in the November 54 issue of Universe.